I recently reviewed the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S Gen 5 AMD and Intel laptops. I then published a comparison video between the two and other videos about playing games with them. The coolest thing about these laptops is that both the RAM and the storage can be upgraded. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the storage. Let's dive right in. Slab Tech. The first thing we'll need is a new NVMe SSD. What fits in this laptop is the most common size, the M.2 2280 form factor. I don't want to go out and buy one, but I do have a 2TB drive in here. Let's rip it out. We're going to pretend that this is a brand new drive hot off the shelf from B&H Photo. There are a couple paths we can take to manage the pre-existing Windows installation when upgrading the SSD. One is nuke it and install Windows afresh. The other is to clone the Windows installation to the new drive. Today, we're going to clone the drive because I like my data. It's pretty. In order to clone my Windows installation, we're going to have to do some kind of tricky stuff. We'll need two things cloning software, and an external NVMe storage drive enclosure. We'll use Disk Genius to clone the drive, which you can get for free. We'll have to make a pretty big compromise that I'll cover later, but for the purpose of today's task, it'll do nicely. For an enclosure, I'm using this $35 shell I got from Best Buy, their Insignia house brand. Links for these two items are in the description. Since this is a volunteer SSD and not a brand new one, we have to perform some extra steps to clear the data, evidence, and partitions. If it's a brand new drive, there shouldn't be any evidence on it to deal with. All we need to do is insert the volunteer drive into the enclosure, plug it in, and format the two partitions that are already on it. Can you tell I've done this before? With both partitions formatted, boot up Disk Genius. Right-click on the enclosure on the left pane and select Delete All Partitions. At first glance, it looks like all partitions are gone, but remember, Disk Genius is smarter than you, so these changes haven't been saved and finalized. Right-click on the enclosure again and select Save Partition Table. That will get those nasty little partitions to go away, and now there's only the single drive letter. In Disk Management, right-click on the Unallocated Space box and create a new simple volume. The new parameters are useless since they're going to be changed by Disk Genius anyway, so just click Next a bunch to get through the wizard. With the new partition created, go back to Disk Genius, Tools, and then Clone Disk. Select the C drive as the source disk, then yes to the other dialog boxes to copy other necessary bits and pieces. Then select the external enclosure as the destination disk. It's going to give you a preview of what the data on the new drive will look like. If everything looks good, click start on the bottom and wait for about four and a half hours. With all the formatting, cloning, and waiting done, it's time to crack open this beast of a laptop and play operation with its insides. First, the battery should be disconnected and the power button pressed until we're tired or bored of pressing the power button, whichever comes first. With all the power drained, the sitting drive can be removed and the doppelganger inserted. Reconnect the battery, turn the laptop on, and everything should boot up just like the old drive did, except now we have an extra terabyte of space for filing evidence. This has been how to upgrade the SSD in a ThinkPad P14S. Tell me how much I cheated the process by using free software in the comments below. Or just ask any questions you have about upgrading the SSD in your ThinkPad. Leave a like and subscribe if you want, that way you won't miss out on the next laptop review. Thanks for watching and you guys, have a good night.